Scientists are going high tech to protect the world's coral from the effects of climate change. And as CBS's Tina Kraus shows us this evening, they are busy in the lab breeding coral they hope will survive in warmer temperatures. Some of the planet's brightest underwater landscapes are losing their glow, with rising temperatures sucking the life out of them. The International Coral Reef Society says harmful bleaching now affects 84% of reefs worldwide. It's akin to chopping down all the trees in the Amazon rainforest. All of a sudden you've lost all of that three-dimensional structure that the trees provide. To give coral reefs a fighting chance, Dr. Jamie Craggs is helping them make babies in his London lab filled with tanks of different coral species. By controlling light, temperature and other conditions, he mimics the ocean's natural cues to trigger spawning. Every combination of egg and sperm creates new genetic recombination through the fertilization process. Craig says it's a better survival strategy than traditional coral farming, which breaks off pieces of coral to regrow, a quick fix that creates identical clones. That lack of genetic diversity means that the long-term success of only using that is limited. And that's why we want to be focusing on sexual reproduction. Scientists say bleaching has gotten so severe, even corals thought to be resilient have died. So they're spawning genetically unique coral babies to give reefs their strongest shot at adapting. A lab-grown lifeline, planting the seeds for a colorful comeback. Tina Krause, CBS News.